Hi, we're back for another edition of Spotlight on the Arts. I'm Jay Handelman, the arts editor of the Herald Tribune, here with my award-winning colleague, Carrie Seidman, who just won a fellowship from the Rosalind Carter Foundation. Is that right? That is. That's it. Thank you. She's going to be to do a lot of interesting work over the next year uh, with that, so we're happy. Along with 500 other awards she's won in the last few months. So. No, not true. But <coughs> I am proud of that one. That's good, and you should be. We're proud, too. And we're so proud, we're, we don't have time to play Pokemon Go because there's so much going on this week, most of it involving theater, and I'm going to be really busy for the next week or so. Uh, I'm going to get started talking about the Improv Festival at Sarasota, uh, Sarasota, the Sarasota Improv Festival at Florida Studio Theater. It's the eighth annual, and uh, there are 18 acts over three days. I'm going to sit through all of it. I can't see every act because it's not possible to see them all because there are two things going on at once. He asked me this morning if he should write about each one, so you can expect your entire paper to be filled with not improv each one, reviews. Each night, I'm not going to write about every show. I'll be tweeting about it though while I'm there and posting photos on Instagram. It's a lot of fun. I've been to all of them, and uh, you get tired of laughing after a while, but it's fun. So I'm going to be doing that this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and then recuperating on Sunday. Sounds like you'll need to. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and if you want something perhaps a bit more soul-stirring, um, over at West Coast uh, Black Theater Troupe, they are, instead of doing a Motown review, which is what they generally do this time of year, uh, they are doing a tribute to Mahalia Jackson, Jackson called um, what I got o How I Got Over. How I Got Over. That's it. That's I'm not, leaving, I'm not leaving out a word. Okay. Right. Um, and so that'll be happening, uh, and it runs. The show runs through August fourteenth. She was the queen of gospel, traditional. Yeah, gospel, wonderful so gospel a, music. Another Nate Jacobs uh, inspired and uh, produced. And he's uh, read it, wrote it, and he's in it. Uh, Jason Michaels is working on it by himself in his uh, one-person show, Card Shark. It's not a one-person show; it's just a, a show. He's uh, doing sleight of hand with card tricks and. Uh, things like that at the FST Cabaret. Um, it's the second of their three show summer series. And uh, I had a nice chat with him on the phone a week or so ago and talked about how he moved away from big illusions like sawing people in half to being more intimate and working with cards. And there's cameras so everybody, no matter where you're sitting, can see That's kind of cool what's idea. going on. Yeah. And I know that when they have those acts on uh, America's Got Talent, people go nuts over how, how that card just appeared or he figured out what card you had or something. So I'm looking forward to seeing that next week. Um, and for those of you who have been following the career of Maria Wearies, who, as many of you will recall, was kind of a musical phenom from Bradenton, I think, right? And she is at Penn State now. She's coming back for one show at the Glen Ridge uh, Performing Arts Center this Saturday. It's called From the Caribbean to College and Back. So her entire career. She's all of, what, 17 or no, something? No, she's Well, maybe she's a little maybe, older no, than that now. Going to start her junior year of college. So. Anyway, she is a remarkable singer. Um, so that's one night only. You don't want to miss it Saturday night. Uh, also this weekend, it's hard to believe, um, the Starlight Players, which uh, is marking its first anniversary. It's hard to believe. Uh, they've been doing roughly once a month uh, a program of four, four or five short uh, plays, usually comedies, and they're doing another one. This one, this collection is called Strange Bedfellows. There's four plays uh, at the, in the upstairs in the Starlight Room, and they've just built a really nice following for, for uh, which is giving support to local playwrights, and a lot of local actors are uh, involved in these performances, so it's a uh, I just can't believe it's been a year. I know, since I can't believe it's been them. a year, and, and they've been very successful. Yeah. I mean, we kind of wondered is this going to work when they started it, and uh, they've done a great job. Good job to Joe Morello, who started it. Yeah, exactly. Um, and at the Venice Theater, their cabaret series is continuing, um, and these are um, individual shows. This weekend is our three musical shows one, uh, Christopher Geddes. Getty? Um, and his is, I think, uh, musical theater and some rock music. And then Robin Fernandez, who does um, Barbara and Frank, is that what yes, it's called? Yes, she's doing Barbara Streisand and Frank Sinatra movie themed Movie songs, yeah. So I would enjoy that one. I, yeah. I like that kind she's of music. a good singer. 
and then uh, Dorian Boyd, who is with the theater, I believe, in some capacity. He's the sound right? designer. Yeah, we'll be doing another kind of um, soft rock show. So lots of musical choices there. And you're going to be hearing us talking every week about the Cabaret Festival because it's going on until the end of August. So it's, it's lots of variety uh, to consider down there. Uh, you can read about all these things and more in our weekly ticket magazine and online on Ticket Sarasota and in our su Sunday art section. And we'll be having reviews of these events during the week. So we hope you'll be following us and we will see you next week.